Fordham hosting St. Bonaventure in its final home game of the regular season. Aaron Rooney starts off the scoring with a step back three, one of many threes that Fordham will go on to hit in the first half. The two teams trade buckets, and a little while later, Christina Gaskin finds Charlotte Stoddard underneath. This is going to start an 8-0 run for the Rams. They go up 16-13. Next possession down, Collins has it. She's going to find Corning in the corner. She hits from deep. That's going to put Fordham up by 6. And the next time down, it's going to be Stoddard. She started it. She's going to end it. She nails a 3 from the top of the key to put Fordham up 22-13. That causes St. Bonaventure timeout. Bonaventure finally gets back on the board. And then we're going to see here Erin Rooney going to extend that Fordham run again. She nails that one from beyond the arc with, from Samantha Clark. When it was all said and done, Fordham on a 14-2 run in the first half. Fordham just could not miss from three, and you're going to see it here. Mara Strickland, that touches every part of the rim, and it still finds a way in. Fordham up 41-27 at the half. Bonaventure works their way back into it in the second stanza. They get to within two, but Mara Strickland puts Fordham back up four with that baseline 15-footer. Bonaventure threatening again, but this time it's Arielle Collins. She nails a three, puts Fordham up six with just over five minutes to go. This one's going to basically seal the game. Mara Strickland in your face, three-pointer is true. Fordham ends up with a 62-50 victory. Here with Fordham head coach Stephanie Gately. Coach, you were up big at the half. St. Bonaventure makes it a close one in the second half. What was what did it say about your team they were able to persevere like that? I was just really proud of the effort of when Erin went out with her the foul like five minutes ago because we haven't played with her not on the court. And she obviously has been a big part of our success. So, I mean, again, we had a false sense of confidence by shooting so many threes early. And the second half shot 16%. So you knew that they weren't going to go away. They had a lot of kids from the area, so they had a good, you know, a good, a good turnout from a fan standpoint. So. I just really proud that after an emotional win against St. Joe's on Sunday and after have, not having a long day off for a while, I think that this was a, a really pretty win. Talked about Aaron going out. There were four minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Aaron's your, one of your best players, just not your best player. She had 19 points at that point. What do you say to the other girls? What were they saying to each other when Aaron goes down? It's just because they've been such a resilient group. Just when people have been stepping up, we did, they did, all they said was, you know, let, let's get it done. And, I just said, you know, this is a great time for different people to step up. So, I mean, like I said, all year long this group hasn't had any fear. I mean, we went to St. Louis and Mara was down, you know, with an injury. I mean, I thought Christina did a great job. I thought Charlotte did a great job. I thought people that stepped in really, really stepped up their game and made big plays when we needed them to. You alluded to that first half where you guys just couldn't miss. 9 of 13 from 3. What was going well for you guys? Were you running an offensive set to look for the open 3 or were shots just falling? I think we just read the defense. I think it was what we said, let's just take what Bonaventure gives us. I mean, they did a good job of really plugging the lane and made it difficult for Sam as evidenced by, you know, a couple of three-second calls. And, and she was a little indecisive on, on the block. And I think, you know, we, they did a really good job. I, I give all the credit to St. Bonaventure in that situation. Abigail Corning, her, her second monster double-double of the year, 15 points, 14 rebounds. For her, is it just hustle, or is it something else for Abigail? Abigail's one of the hardest working kids I've ever coached in, the, in my career, and that's a long time because I'm old. <laughs> I'm old injured. But it's all guts with Abigail. I mean, this was great because we needed her to step up because a couple other people you know, didn't have their team, so to speak, and Abigail really stepped up in a big way. And I, I really think Abigail's our own son hero of this team across the board this year. All right, thanks, Coach. Congrats on win number 21. Thanks, Durant.